This is the transmission plant, the competitive renewable energy zone transmission plant that was completed at the end of last year. This is, uh, what, 3,600 miles of new transmission lines, a lot of new transmission lines. It's a very expensive project, but this is what is enabling us to get that additional wind on the system, especially up here in the panhandle, these wind resources up here are some of the best wind resources in the world. Um, and they're uh, phenomenal wind resources for two reasons. First of all, because, you know, if you've been to Amarillo, it's very, very windy. Um, and all the trees are kind of over like this. Um, uh, uh, but not only that, but it's very consistent. They have these huge wind turbines. And every time the wind changes direction a little bit, these huge wind turbines have to turn into the wind. And until they fully turn into the wind, they're taking torque because they're getting hit by this wind that's not hitting them directly in the center. Up in the panhandle, the wind will blow in one direction for days and days and days. And so it's a very good wind resource, first, first because of the amount of wind, but also because of the consistency of the direction of the wind. Um, and it's been these wind resources up here where much of the interest is right now that's driving that new, um, that new surge in wind development. So these wonderful wind resources are getting access to what is probably one of the best markets for new technologies, um, certainly in the United States, but uh, across much of the world as well. We have a market, because of the fact that we have a market a policy that's set in Austin, we have an electricity market which is very open to new technologies. It allows new technologies to compete against existing resources very effectively. And so that makes it a very conducive spot for wind resources and for other new technologies.